the Sun and its planets. Our solar system and the vastness of space are not only hard to grasp for a human mind, but also difficult to model in a 3D environment. Our team of physicists, engineers and computer scientists took the challenge and continued the work of our predecessors, creating this unique user experience. Take a look at what we did. We had a very interdisciplinary team, that's why we divided the task into modeling and programming. Uh, the mechanical engineers, they did the modeling part with CAD, and we had industrial engineers and the computer scientists who worked on programming the software. Right now we're working on a navigation UI. Um, you can simply open the UI by pressing a button, and that opens the planetary directory, which enlists all the objects that are within the model. Um, so if you want to go to Earth, uh, for example, you just click on the Earth, close the UI, boom, we're there. Um, I'm currently working on a space mission. I'm working on the Baby Colombo mission, which was launched last year in October. It's uh, currently on its way to Mercury to solve some mysteries out there. Um, well, I can run the script now and then you can see the trajectory that um, Baby Colombo is taking on its way to Mercury. Um, it will take in total seven years and right now it's located right here. So um, this box will move then with time and you can always see where it is. Yeah, so we've created a lunar rover, lunar lander. Then we added, imported from the NASA website, astronaut and the American flag. And Amal will show you the moon surface which we edited a bit and made it more brighter. So this is the surface which we created and all of these guys which we imported and then and then we edited it. Yeah. Yeah. 